Hello everybody, this is the Lysol. Welcome to my roster update for my alt account, the Lysol Redux for week 23 of 2023. Let's get started. So for this project, I put together this spreadsheet here uh, to track my progress. Uh, I break down my farms into three tiers, five characters each. Within each tier, I try and get one character per week up to uh, their goal and another character up to G11 or G12, depending on how my resources are looking. Uh, last week, I was unable to get anybody up to G13, uh, but I was able to get a character from low relics to higher relics in order to get the goal. As you can see, I'm working on Jabba. Uh, I've got JKL, Chrysanthemum, Boosh finished. Uh, also among this, I'm working on a Queel IG11 cat team with bando and cad bane also for my executor which i have finished those two so let's take a look at the gearing here we go so i had a bunch of characters that i could promote uh, i got candorous up to seven stars because i'm kind of half-ass lightweight working on darth revan in the background I've got Second Sister up to seven stars, Hoth Rebel Soldier up to seven stars, Kit Fisto up to seven stars. Uh, I get Bays up to six, I believe. And then I think Churrup, Churrit up to six as well. Oh, Churrit's up to five. Uh, Night Sister Acolyte. A lot of these are just characters that I've been farming through uh, the Mark I raid mats because they're really cheap and easy. I get Rose up, a star level. And then I start looking around here. So I look at Scando, can't do it. So we move on. I look at Aura, what's missing here? These injector cell salvage which I never considered to be a crunch, but apparently I don't have enough of. Uh, I, there's no real way to farm them either, unless you want to skip out on Kairos, which is damn near impossible to do. I am able to take uh, Fennec up to G12. Uh, I take Jawa up to G12. Then I believe I go to, oh, Demo Guard I can't do. I can take Mob Enforcer up to 10. I'm making quite a bit of progress on this Java farm. Uh, then I believe I go to uh, Boosh. Yeah. I take Boosh up to Relic 5 here. And uh, yeah, we can skip through all that. So Comparing uh, or looking at my roster growth from week 22 to week 23, I went from 5.295 million to 5.396 million. That's, damn, that's 100,000 GP. What I didn't have in there was I took a couple of ships up. I worked on the Tide Dorito a little bit, which I got at four stars. I didn't push because I'm not pushing for Leviathan. It's not that big a deal to me. Uh, I'm still at 96 Zetas, 10 Omicrons, 48 G13s. Now I have 14 G12s and I have 18 G11s. So this is the same as last week, Skiff Guard Lando. Just take a quick look at his gear. We've got uh, Armatech armor platings, which is what I was short on this past week. And they're on regular energy, so I don't farm those. I only farm shards and kairos with my regular energy i'm not messing around with that stuff and we got some med packs we got some carbontes i'm honestly i'm ready to to relic him now but just for my own edification we have this here so my plan for next week i'm still working on the btl bomber jesus christ is that taking forever i think it's still at five stars I might be like 30 shards away from the sixth star. It takes forever. I'm not doing any refreshes on it. So I'm getting one, two, maybe three shards in a day, depending on how lucky I get. 
I'm working on Second Sister. Actually, Second Sister is done. Uh, Ninth Sister, Seventh Sister, Kairos, and Salvage. Uh, I'm hoping to get uh, in Grand Inquisitor after I get Java, so I can help my guild get more Reva shards. You know, try and be a guild, good guildy. In Cantina, I'm working on Signal Data. I was working on Candorous. He's done now. Uh, I think I'm just going to work on Signal Data for a while in the Cantina. I don't really have too many Cantina farms I want to get done. There's still a few here and there, odds and ends, but I think for a week or two, I can focus entirely on Signal Data. In the fleet, we've got Raven's Claw, which I just finished yesterday. Tide Defender. Uh, we're farming Mark 12 Hollow Lenses, Mark 8 Scanners, Mark 6 Med Packs too. I might throw a few extra crystals towards uh, the fleet uh, chase, but I'm not entirely certain. And my goal for next week is to have a Relic 5 Scando. It says G12 Fennec, I don't know why, because uh, I got her at G12. So G13 Fennec probably. And then uh, all the rest of the Jabba requirements up to G11. I'm past the Cairo Crunch for Jabba, or well, the pre-G13 Cairo Crunch. So gearing up the rest of these characters should be relatively easy. And I haven't spent a lot of my raid currency on this account. So I should be able to, if I'm choosy with how I spend it, I should be able to get all of the rest of the requirements up to G11 or G12 this coming week. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, be sure to like, subscribe, comment in the comment section down below, and you can join me on Twitch or Discord. Both have links in the description. I hope to see you guys there.